I'm going to take care of the turtle tank today. So the turtle tank is looking kind of sad. Look at that. Got all oh, we got hard water out here in country, and so that stuff deposits on the turtle tank. Uh, a couple days ago, I did do the pump, the filter. If you want to do a proper turtle tank with you know relatively medium-sized turtles, I guess we'll call them, then you have to have really good filtration because they put out so much waste and they could turn a tank in 24 hours into a cesspit. So I always have to maintain that. It's a decent filter, Ehans, I really like those. And I change it probably once every couple of weeks to get all the guck out. And this hose, it's not the prettiest look inside of here, but they got their land platform and they there's some fish in there, which I replenish every once in a while. Now with uh, the pet store is not selling pets, so I can't really replenish the fish. Generally, the turtles don't eat the fish unless, I don't know, you turn the light on at dusk. Then they somehow instantly turn into these carnivores. So I'm going to take some vinegar and paper towels, and I'm going to uh, use the vinegar to soften up the hardness that's on the aquarium tank here. And then I'm going to use a scraper and use a lot of pressure to scrape these guys. Well, not the guys, scrape the, uh, the build up off the tank. And I use vinegar because vinegar is uh, relatively safe for this volume of water and won't affect the fish. And it definitely won't affect the turtles. All right. So I've been at this for I think about an hour. So it's much better. You can see all the way through. Yes. And I should have taken a picture of the top, what the top looked like. The top had not been cleaned in I don't know, a couple of years. It was a couple of years of grime. So the lights do not work through glass. The glass absorbs a lot of the uh, ultraviolet radiation, um, radiation that comes from these bulbs. So you need to make sure there's no glass between the bulb and the animals. That's the uh, weird setup I have here. These turtles are not in, they're not gonna escape out of this tank. So I don't need to have the top on. I use these hockey sticks here to prop up this light. So totally makeshift work here. The turtles have a nice little basking spot, which also allows the algae to grow in the water, which is not the best thing, but that's okay. And then I got this special UV bulb for the turtles so that when they eat their food, they're able to digest it properly and keep nice strong bones. So now the turtles are probably hungry. In this tank, you'll see mostly tetras. There's a really cool ghost catfish that hangs out underneath this log over here. I'll have to go to the other side to see it. And I raise the water level slightly. I have to clean the outside of the tank. I got a flow pump that uh, gives a current to the water so the fish and the turtles have something a little bit more natural to swim against. A waterfall in here would be nice. I tried to do that initially with this, but then the water ended up splashing everywhere. I, I, maybe I'll take the time during this break to actually do a proper waterfall setup for this tank. All right, so this tank is mostly done. I gotta clean the outside. Uh, while I was at it, I scraped another tank, but that's for another day. All right. That's uh, Bubbles and Tsunami, male and female turtles, and myself checking out.